What's good guys? In today's video, we're gonna make our character fly just like in Hogwarts Legacy. If my calculations are correct, which they always are, this code will make me fly forward like I'm in Harry Potter. So first off, okay, we're flying. And now, with the press of this button, you will fly forward. <laughs> it didn't work. Until... So, guys, I got it figured out. It's finally done. Watch, 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 watch. Then I jump, press 9. Okay, we're flying. Then I press forward and we start flying around, guys. Oh, this feels so good. You have no idea how long this took. This is like an embarrassingly long amount of time. But it's done. But you guys see how when we're flying around, it kind of looks like... <laughs> well, let's fix that. I modified an aiming animation I got for free on the Unreal Store, and instead of holding a boom boom stick, he'll hold a broomstick, and it looks pretty bad still, but good enough for a prototype. Psst, if you're an animator, let me know. Hmm? Oh, oh what? Crashed. Unreal Engine just crashed! So, I literally have to start from the beginning and redo all the work I did on the animation. It's already 8.30, and if I can't get this done in time, I'm gonna have to watch Taylor Swift for four hours straight, and nobody wants to do that. <sighs> well... If a man can do it once, a man can do it twice. So I'm gonna redo it from the beginning and make sure that it comes out even better than before. One coding montage later, and I just did that and the animation looks even better than before. So, what next? Oh, I'm gonna explain how we're gonna make it better than Hogwarts Legacy. You see, in Hogwarts Legacy, it feels like you're just walking in the air, kind of boring. And if you wanna go up or down, uh, it's also pretty boring, bro, I don't know. But in games where flying is funner, you'll fly in whatever direction the camera faces, and then if you press the left stick, it'll turn to that angle. This makes close combat and dogfights like this possible. So, our goal is to do that method, but it'll be even more fun because you're like under broomstick and like more vulnerable and like, it'll be fun, I promise you bro, let's go. First thing to add is turning. So when you like press right, he'll move right and like whatever other direction you press, he'll also do that. So this will be cool so you can like dodge incoming attacks in like a cool way. One coding montage later and... Okay man, I have made a code that is so genius. What this code is gonna do, when we press left, it's gonna turn a little bit left. And when we press right, he's gonna turn a little bit right. Um, let's see how it works out. Now, for the moment of truth. Ah! <laughs> oh, this is so bad, guys. Oh, it doesn't work at all. Okay, back to the drawing board. I really have no idea how I'm going to make this work. So, I'm going to do a secret technique I like to call. Try everything, do not do the math, and hopefully it'll work out. And after another hour of hard work... Bros, after one hour of relentless hard work... I promise you, bro, look, look at the time. It's like, it's been like a whole hour, bro, I promise you. That's so much work. I finally figured out the math to make him look up, down, left, right when you're flying on the broom. Let me show you guys. If you're making a game, here, screenshot this. It's a lot, but uh, you got it, bro. And, boom. Watch this. Woo! Oh. There's a glitch. I fixed it. Just disable the movement while you're flying. And now, after so many hours of hard work, it means so much to me to finally see him flying around like I dreamed of a few hours ago. I love it. Long live Christ the King. But wait, it feels kinda floaty. Kinda familiar. It's hard to describe, but I promise you, bro. If you play this, it feels exactly like the broom flying in Hogwarts Legacy, like one-to-one. -one. You see, the reason it's like this is because they coded it the exact same way I did. Both of our games use Unreal Engine. In Hogwarts Legacy, did you notice that the broomstick controls don't feel too precise? Like when you turn, you had to wait for the momentum to build up. That's the reason the broomstick courses are so boring. Their fancy music can't trick me that it's fun. Uh, actually, it can. But they make sure that the broomsticks don't fly too fast. The reason they do that is because Unreal Engine doesn't easily let you add friction in the air. So when you build up momentum in one direction, it's really hard to turn. So it kind of feels like you're walking on ice. It's almost impossible to turn. Like watch this. I'm going full speed and I'm going to try to turn around. See how I keep sliding in the air? So, if Hogwarts Legacy let you go any faster, you guys would be having the same problem that I'm having in this game. But, when I tried to make the same game in Unity, it felt really responsive and was really fun. So, I spent the next two hours trying to add friction to it, until finally... Alright guys, it is midnight, so I have to stop working now. And let's look at what I did. If you're making a game, this is the part you're gonna want to screenshot. Flying around feels fine. Technically, I completed the challenge. But, 
I'm Ace. Do I give up just because if I keep working, I'm gonna have to watch Taylor Swift for four hours straight? Like a little loser. Like a little crybaby. Like a little whiny, sad crybaby. Of course not. So, not only am I going to add friction, I'm also going to add the single greatest idea ever added to broomstick flying ever. Fade to black. Oh, that's not something I'm supposed to say in the script. Falling off if you hit something. It's so much fun, bro. Look at this. Boom. Ooh. Look at this. Ooh. Ah, look how he falls, bro. It's so fun. I promise you, it's so fun, bro. You have no idea how fun this is. And it was surprisingly easy to add. Only took me like half an hour. Here's the code. But remember the friction. I tried for so long, guys, but each method I tried didn't work out. So I'm going to figure out something tomorrow. 